What's up guys, it's Franchise923, and in the next video or two, I think the series is going to be like two or three videos to start, but I want to talk about something called Folium. Um, so Folium is a way we can use Python to generate leaflet.js maps. So if you don't know what leaflet.js maps is, leaflet's basically, it's a JavaScript mapping library, um, and it lets us create cool looking um, maps with JavaScript. And I've actually used this in the past just with straight JavaScript, not Python. Um, and if, you, if you've worked with JavaScript, you know it can kind of be a little bit messier compared to Python. So when I saw this comment by Rez right here, he, um, he's the one who actually introduced me to this Folium library. Um, so thank you for suggesting this. This is actually pretty cool. So I, uh, I took a look at it the other day and I decided it's pretty cool and I wanted to make some videos on it. Um, but this is basically what, what some of the things we can do. This is a, a simple example of generating the map and displaying some sort of data. Um, and what I want to do in these videos is I want to use an API with Python and then display the, the response from that API onto the web map. Um, so this is kind of a boring, the data I have here is kind of boring. It's just uh, an API that returns all the uh, st uh, countries in the world back with a bunch of data. Um, so this is the country and the population I'm displaying. And I'm actually using this uh, restcountries.eu endpoint. Um, so basically, when we go here, we get all this good data. Uh, and the reason I wanted to use this API instead of something cooler like Twitter or uh, Instagram or something like that, it's because I didn't want to deal with the authentication part of it. Uh, I just wanted to show you how quickly and easily we can get this up and running. Um, and in the future, if if you guys are interested, I can go through some videos and maybe we can get uh, the Twitter API uh, hooked up. I'm th I mean, it would be cool to have like um, a map that has like the top 10 tweets in each country or something like that. I could see that being cool, but it's kind of a pain. You have to register an app with Twitter and um, go through the OAuth process. Um, so I didn't want to waste time on that. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, keep watching. Um, also, yeah, I just wanted to show you, this code was produced with 18 lines of Python. <laughs> so it's, it's really powerful. Um, basically, the Python will make an index.html file for you. It'll put all the JavaScript. So basically it's gonna convert everything to the JavaScript and then save it in the index.html file. Uh, so it, basically is converting the Python to JavaScript. Um, but yeah, let's just uh, get started with this.